What's up, folks? I am D Marvel, and this is FEO News, where I like to point out some of the ridiculous and kind of disgusting things that these people have to believe in if they're going to continue to hang on to the heliocentric model. I got something for you today. Let's get into this article from Science Alert. This is from 30 January 2018. Scientists are figuring out how to get astronauts to eat their own poop. Yeah. Let's get into it. Taking food up to space is costly and growing food in orbit is difficult and time consuming, which is why scientists are looking at the possibility of converting astronaut poop back into something edible. The thought may make you want to reach for the sick bag, but such a scheme could mean the difference between exploring the universe or being stuck on Earth. We need to solve the problem of food on long-term space flights one way or another. Now a team from Pennsylvania State University has come up with a way of using microbes to break down solid and liquid human waste very quickly, while minimizing the chance of any pathogens developing. The substance that's left could be used as space food. It's a little strange, but the concept would be a little like Marmite or Vegemite, where you're eating a smear of microbial goo, explains one of the researchers, geoscientist Christopher House. Using industry standard artificial poop, yes, it exists. The scientists combined it with a select number of microbes in a cylindrical system about 1.22 meters or 4 feet long. That prompts a process called anaerobic digestion, similar to the one found in our own guts. The original pile of waste gets broken down with no oxygen needed. But it was the next step that really put the new research ahead of processes we already use. Taking nutrients out of the broken down waste and using a microbial reactor to grow a kind of food stuff out of them. The methane produced during anaerobic digestion was fed to another microbe, Methylococcus capsulatus, a bacterium also used by the industry to produce supplements or biomass for animal feed. With 52% protein and 36% fats, the biomass produced with the methane gobbling M. capsulatus could produce plenty of nutritional value for astronauts. We're still talking about eating poop here, regardless of how scientific they try to make it sound. Okay, um, in fact, the whole system is a little like the compact filters you might find in a fish tank, removing fish waste from the water. We use materials from the commercial aquarium industry, but adapted them for methane production, says House. On the surface of the material are microbes that take solid waste from the stream and convert it to fatty acids, which are converted to methane gas by a different set of microbes on the same surface. During tests, the team removed 49 to 59% of solids in 13 hours, which was much faster than existing waste management systems. However, this isn't a fully working product yet, just an experiment with different components in isolation. Okay, more research will be needed to tweak the formulas being used and confirm this is actually something that can work in deep space. Meanwhile, other teams are working on ways to tackle the same problem. For a long trip to somewhere like Mars, taking enough ready meals would take up too much space and too much weight. More weight means more rocket fuel and more cost. As if $58 million a day is, I mean, like, like that doesn't really cover the cost, though. Ridiculous. Uh, growing food through hydroponics, soil-free farming, is an option, but it takes a long time to grow anything and needs more oxygen to work which again puts a strain on the limited resources of the spacecraft. So there should be a place uh, in the um, spacecraft where they have, I don't know, some sort of something or another. I'm thinking of something that produces oxygen, maybe mm, some kind of plant, perhaps. Oh, never mind. Ultimately, recycling the waste of our own bodies is likely to play at least some part in keeping astronauts well-fed on long journeys, and there's already a pea recycling system on board the ISS. Food could be next. A pea recycling system on board the ISS. Oh, you mean like this? NASA urine recycler, test one, sample one. It's the first water we've got out of the machine. 
This will allow astronauts to recycle their urine and sweat into beautiful, clean, clear drinking water. For sample, transparency, subpar. Oh, oh that's just piss. That's just straight up piss. Smell, urine, and uh... Piss all the way down to the bottom. <sighs> ah! Results have not been promising. Edison, you know, it took him like thousands of tries to find the right filament for a light bulb. And maybe we're being idiots, or maybe we're. Oh, oh it's piss! I'll oh, just see who drinks it. I'm not gonna drink it. I can sit here all day. You drink it! <clears throat> Do we even have a machine? Are we just pissing into this bottle? <gasps> that will go great with a cheeseburger if you like drinking piss with your cheeseburger. Hey, that's not bad. Like a glass of water that a friend pissed a little bit into. We made water! Somebody give me a glass of piss! I want to celebrate! <laughs> uh, yeah. Imagine if someone were to fine-tune our system so that you could get 85% of the carbon and nitrogen back from waste into protein without having to use hydroponics or artificial light, says House. That would be fantastic development for deep space travel. The research has been published in Life Sciences in Space Research. I'll leave a link in the description to this article. That's just freaking nasty. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, technology for this is still in production the uh, whole process is still in the works they say um and this picture here is just grossing me out uh let me know what you think in the comment section about this whole situation not sure if you've even heard about this but um yeah in my opinion this is just some nasty shit. as always be good to each other take care of yourself and stay flat i'll see you next time thank you